Hey friends, welcome back. This is Harish. Today we are going to see three types of service receiving where we can create confusions between the operand. So watch this video carefully and if you are going to watch this video without subscribing our channel, then you may not get the interesting stuff like this. So subscribe to it and we will get started. First, let's see why we are learning these strokes. In doubles, there are two opponents and a partner of yours. So you need to read the mind of three people. First two minds are the opponent's minds. You need to return the serve in a way that both of them should get confused on who should take the shuttle. The third mind is the partner's mind which is the most difficult mind because you should return the serve in a way that your partner in the back finds it easy to finish the rally as soon as possible. So let's see the first type of service return. So the first type of return is called the supply return. This is an easy return technique and if you can master it then you are guaranteed of winning the point. So let's see how to do that. If the opponent is serving in the front, dribble the shuttle right in the center like this. By doing this, you are forcing your opponent to lift the shuttle and when you dribble the shuttle so close like this, the lift will be in the midcourt only and this makes your partner to finish the shuttle easily. Second type of receiving is called the confused return. This return makes both the opponent trying to take the shuttle, thus making them confused on who should actually take the shuttle. So let's see how to do that. Third type of receiving is called the on-body return. By returning the shuttle like this, the opponent will be forced to play a shot which gives advantage to us. So let's see how to do that. And that's all for today friends, I have given you 3 types of service return which can confuse your opponent at different levels. So if you find this video useful, make sure you hit that like button so that this video will reach many people out there. And for your part, you can also share this video with your friends and family to get them to know about these. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do it right now or you may miss the interesting videos. And I will meet your friends in the next class with more interesting topics. Until then, this is Harish, stay safe and healthy. Thank you friends, have a nice week. If you give a person 1 lakh rupees and leave him be for a day and by the end of the day all the money will be gone whether he spent it or not and he will have the same 1 lakh rupees by the next day morning. So what he will do? Won't he spend all the money and make the best out of it? Won't he make that money to help him in some way or another? Absolutely yes. Likewise you have 24 hours of time a day. So why waste time?